All right, I thought I'd cover this time uh, how to connect a DSLR camera to uh, a refractor. So I've got the Skywatcher, the EvoStar 80 ED um, package, and uh, I've already attached and, and taken images with it with my uh, DSLR. I got the, the Canon uh, D7100 here. Um, and uh so it's it's a it's a good camera you know you read about the, the 7100 of course it's a nikon and so that there's not as many nikon users as there are canon but some say the um like the, i think it's a 5600 is a better camera um for that but this is a hand-me-down uh for my son so you never uh refuse hand-me-downs um so that's that's what i use as my primary imaging camera so we want to get this uh, attached to our our ADED so we can take some some photos. So when you get the uh, or order the the telescope, when it comes in, it does include a couple of of uh, pieces. So it includes this generic little T adapter because it says T adapter on it and the word camera, but it's just an extension tube. So it has the this is the M forty two. Uh, female. And this is the uh, 42 millimeter male on the bottom of this. So all you're going to do is you're just going to take it and you're going to take it and you're just going to screw this uh, inside the the T ring. Okay. So I know this goes. I'm just doing it one handed. There we go. So I do have my T ring for my Nikon. So I've pulled the lens off, obviously, and have the T ring attached. And then this little T adapter is just gonna screw right in there. And on the inside here, there's some female threads again. Okay, so with the female threads, this piece comes with the telescope also. So you can see it's um, you know one and a quarter. It's got a nut on here, um, and it's got this the flare part, but at the end or the tip of this there is threads here the male threads okay and you got female threads so you can actually let me put this up against there to hold that you can take this and then screw this into the t adapter okay so you're just extending the t adapter so now you've got those two pieces t adapter and this little um, piece here, which actually goes into the uh, into the foc the end of the focuser, and what's nice is that focuser does use the thumb screws to hold it in instead of a compression ring. So at least this is nice where it's flared. So when it's in and sitting flush here, and your your uh, little nuts go in to tighten it down, since it's beveled like this or flared out, it can't uh, it can't pull out. So now once you have that, then what you can do is you can come over here and let me let me pull this off and screw this. Okay, so we're going to pull the diagonal out, and then there's the end of the focuser, and then we're going to take the camera and just going to push it in like this and we're going to go ahead and tighten up the thumb screws and since we have that flare there's no chance of that thing falling out and uh, that is all there is to it so you're going to have the back of the focuser then you're going to have that little uh, kind of adapter there that you can put in if you wanted to put in an eyepiece like a one and a quarter um, or uh, you can put that in there but that just screws into our little T adapter, which goes into our T ring that's on our uh, on our DSLR. And then you can just easily, you can make focus in here. So you really don't need any more uh, back focus. I can't remember how far out it was. It was somewhere around here, but you can use like a astrophotography tool on their um, focusing or uh, the backyard Nikon or Backyard EOS, he's got a good uh, focusing there. Or you can just, you know, look through the live view 
on your DSLR and put a little batten off mask uh, on the front and uh, focus that. Uh, but that's it. It's pretty simple. If you don't have uh, what you need, there's all sorts of adapters on just about every side. OPT, Orion, you know, uh, Astromania, they all have, and Astronomics, they all have section on uh, on adapters and stuff. And even on Amazon, I think that Chinese company, SV Boney, has it. And they'll sell like a set of like, you know, a 5, a 10, a 15, 20, and even a 30 millimeter spacers are all different. So you can kind of stack them uh, to get the back focus you need for your draw tube uh, with that, especially with if you're going to use a, a, you know, a dedicated astronomy camera, maybe a little different. So you may need different uh, sizes. But with the DSLR on this, uh, yes, easily you can get focus on here with just about that's all that you need on there and uh, be able to um, to achieve focus here because this has a pretty pretty big uh, as you can see it goes out that far so that's like almost three inches uh, that you can uh, rack the focuser uh, out of there and stuff so that's how your your camera always just need little adapters attached to your t-ring and, um, and away you go with that but uh, I'll show you what I've got or what I use uh, because let me just get this off here and pulled out real quick. Okay, so back over to the table. So I'm going to take this off and I'm going to take this off. T-ring. Okay, so I got those off. So I'm just down to my T-ring. What I have is a little five-position filter wheel that I got off of Amazon, Astromania, uh, and it's just a mechanic. It's just a mechanical one, so you just can spin the wheel uh, as you need it. So, like in number one, I have a, uh, a moon filter, and this is one and a quarter because I already had one and a quarter uh, inch filters. So I got the one and a quarter one, but I just have my moon filter in one, and then in two I have my uh, UHC, my ultra ultra high contrast for light pollution uh, filter on that. But so this is what I shoot with, and then of course uh, the others are blank, right? There's nothing in there, so I usually leave it on five. So there's no filters, just straight pass through. But on this one here, it's got this is the back side other side that would face the camera and I take that off and you'll notice it has the rings the male M42 so I can actually screw that right on my t-ring on my Nikon and then once that's on there okay so that's on the t-ring and then I just pull this off here so you can see it's just the same barrel size as a uh, is a one and a quarter inch eyepiece and then what I do is I use this piece instead of it being attached to that all I do is just put it on here right and then just tighten this down so now I have that on there and I have this on there and with that and I just just like I showed you able to drop it there and there in the back of the of the focuser so then that way I can use my camera and a, a filter wheel uh, with that. So this is an unmodded camera. It's just nothing's been done to it, but I uh, need the moon filter, you know, on those nights where the moon is pretty bright. You don't want to laser beam your eyeball uh, with all that light coming through without a filter on there. So, or any other filters you want to use um, in there. So easily with this, I get, uh, I can, I can bring it into focus, take some, took some good pictures of um, of the double cluster and Orion and Andromeda. So you can see how thick it is. And of course, it depends on where you put this uh, on here, how far, you know, in or out with that. So that's almost about the same as that. Uh, but that's how you can use a filter wheel uh, with your DSLR camera on a, uh, a mechanical filter wheel. Uh, with that so I'm very pleased with that I will tell you when you so when you get this and you have to put the filters in you actually have to remove 
this screw and this screw and on this side, those two screws, but you gotta be careful because when you pull it off, there's like a little center and there's these little ball bearings and uh, they kind of ride in this little track and then there's like dips where the ball bearing will drop in. Like when you go here, it'll kind of click into place and lock and that's for those ball bearings. So you gotta be careful. <laughs> when you take this apart, sometimes that, that came out and uh, it's not supposed to stay in, but the little ball bearings will roll the table. I had a couple fall on the carpet and I was able to find them, put them back in place. So not a big deal, but this is just, when you open it, you just see this plate here and you just drop in your filters. Uh, if you have a lot in there, you may want to use a sticky note or something and put it on the backside or something. So you remember what filter is in what position, All right? So this has got five. So which ones are in 1.5 1 or one through five, especially if you keep one of them empty so that you're not using a, a filter. Uh, with that so but uh, yeah this this works great uh, for filters um, with that and like I said this piece comes with the uh, scope and this piece comes with the scope and just to show you this is the uh, 25 millimeter eyepiece that comes with the scope so I'm assuming it's a plus hole on um, there it does say sky watcher but it has this the funniest this eye cup right uh, on here so it's not like the regular one. So if I show you the other one that comes with it, so this is a, a 58 degree five millimeter eyepiece that you get. And of course, you know, you got the little eye cup that's pulled down, right? So this one is what you normally see, eye cup. You can see how big the uh, eyepiece uh, lens is here on the top. But this one here has this tapered inward with a smaller hole and I don't even know if it's a plossel or, or what it is. It only has this little marking on there. Uh, so I haven't looked through this one yet because uh, it was in my case when I was out uh, looking. But um, but that's what it is. There's really no cap or anything with it. But I thought it was a kind of an odd looking um, kind of a eyepiece cover. That doesn't have a cover, but it tapered in on that. But that comes uh, also with um, with the scope. Uh, with that. So, and I did buy, uh, just as a finish this off, so I did buy a little batten off mask for uh, the scope that fits fine. I got this from uh, Orion. And uh, so uh, I think this may have come with it. I can't remember. I've got kind of a little Harbor Freight little uh, small attache case that I put all my loose stuff in there. And so this is just another one and a quarter with some threads on it. I did buy this at Orion thinking that I may need it, but I don't. It's for a two inch, but I've got it in case I need it uh, with that. But it's just an extension tube. So this end would go into a two inch, you know, female opening. And then you have this and you can see that there's it's screws that hold it. There's no threads inside here uh, or on the end of this. So it's just plain Jane extension tube. But like I said, there's extension tubes are are everywhere and so you can kind of build what you need on the sizes uh with that so so there we go so that's um that's easy peasy on getting a, a dslr camera kind of rigged up with what you need and um attaching it clear skies